in the previous videos, we had built our REST API. We had built the domain and persistence layers for our application. We also had uh, created the build, uh, the business layer for our application. And we did that using uh, the book record, which had the entity table annotations and also the fields. We also created an interface uh, called as book repository, which extended the JPA repository. And it basically helped us uh, with out of the box methods for uh, CRUD applications on our API. Last was the book con controller, which we had uh, implemented in the previous video, uh, where we had implemented uh, API endpoints such as get uh, all books, get book ID, uh, post mapping, put mapping, and we will be implementing the delete endpoint in uh, the upcoming videos using the TDD method. Now, from this video, let's actually start. Um, doing the unit tests or writing the unit tests for our applications and see how you know they look like how they work and so on and so forth so uh, we will be writing a unit test for the book controller to check whether these methods are working properly or not which we had implemented so we need to test the method or these methods so get all book records book by id create book record update and uh, also delete whenever we write it. So uh, to do this, first we need to go inside test Java and create a test class. So we do new Java class and we call this book controller test as we're unit testing the book controller class. And inside this, now we need to uh, add a lot of things. And before we do that, uh, let's talk about uh, something called as Mockito, uh, which we will be using for our application. So uh, to give you some context for why we are going to use Mockito, uh, now we just need to test this, right? We just need to test get book by ID and it should return us a book. We should test that this method is working and uh, every other external uh, uh, API in that uh, in that method is not something that we need to test. Uh, we can write tests for the book repository, but mainly we are testing whether the methods work and if it's returning everything properly as intended. So we don't really need to always uh, call the book repository whenever we are writing tests for the controller because uh, the point of writing the test for the controller is to test the controller and not the repository. So what we need to do is find a way to actually uh, mirror the uh, methods given by the book repository or mock them so that uh, we always know what we get back from the book repository and it is not dependent on an external uh, class such as the book repository class here. So for that to mock uh, the methods and what we return from the book repository, we use a framework called as Mockito. So now let's talk about Mockito for some time. Mockito is a popular open source framework for mocking objects in software tests. Using Mockito greatly simplifies the development of tests for classes with external dependencies. Now, a mock object is a dummy implementation uh, for an interface or a class, in this case, the book repository. It allows to define the output of certain method calls. They typically record the interaction uh, with the system and the tests can validate that. Now, uh, let's see how it works. So here is a very good website which helps understand how it works. So first, uh, we mock dependencies for the class under test. So we will be mocking the book repository. We execute uh, code in the class under test uh, that we do in our testing class. And we validate if the code uh, executed is as expected as we wanted it from uh, the test. So for those reasons, we will be using Mockito. And now let's uh, understand how Mockito works inside our application and inside book controller test. So let's go ahead and start implementing it. Before we do that, uh, let's quickly set up our REST API properly uh, before we end up with that because we saw some errors in the previous video uh, when we were running the application. So uh, let's quickly uh, clear them out. So we need an application dot properties file inside our resources folder and all we need to do is just have a single line 
which uh, updates uh, uh, which updates apache derg automatically so that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, those values later on and yeah once we have this uh, our application should be up and running smoothly so let's test it right now let's run the application and make sure that the application is running pretty smoothly without any issues wait for a second and make sure that the application is running smoothly before we write our tests we have the console up and let's quickly see whether everything is running properly or not without any errors so far so good we have our database being registered um, everything is looking good uh start completed so the database driver is ready uh, jpa is being initialized and tomcat's web server is running and as you can see no errors and we are good to go with our api okay awesome so now that we have our api complete and up and running we need to start uh using you know or uh, writing our tests so before we actually write our tests we need to add some annotations to make sure you know it's test ready so first we need to do is uh, do a run with and we'll be running with mockito junit runner so this will uh, ensure that we are only using mockito to run our class nothing else and uh, make sure that it doesn't uh, have the web server up before because we just want to test the methods inside it not the web server the next thing which we need to do is have something called as mock MVC uh, and we need a mock MVC uh, object here. We will initialize this uh, before but uh, this is something which we need. The second thing which we need is an object mapper. So we want to convert a JSON to a string and vice versa because uh, when we do a post request we want to send the JSON as a string. So let's quickly do that. So we do an object mapper, uh, object mapper equal to new object mapper. And next we want an object writer, uh, object mapper dot writer. So now we have our object right ready and we can use this uh, for all the classes but for now we are only doing it globally not recommended but uh, should suffice for this uh, tutorial because we want to focus more on the unit test part and less on the um, functionality of how everything else works so let's focus on unit test now now let's see how do we mock the book repository because we don't want to call this every single time we run our tests so we can do that by the mock annotation class by mockito all you have to do is mock what mock the book repository and now we have a mock ready for our uh, controller test called from book repository and uh, the class which is going to accept the mocks is going to be the one which we injected so we inject the mocks inside our book controller class and this basically tells us that yeah so the book controller will be accepting uh, the book repository as a mock inside it. So we call it as inject mocks. Next, let's create some uh, test data. So book, sorry, book record one. And let's quickly import the book class. And this will be new book. And let's quickly give it uh, the name so let's say atomic habits um, the summary how to build better habits and a rating which will say five for this book uh, next let's create some other records so record two new book give it an id uh, name can be thinking fast and slow. Summary can be how to create good mental 
models about thinking and give it a rating as 4. The last book that we can add is my favorite book. So let's add this quickly. Give me new book CL and grokking algorithms. Um, learn algorithms. Fun way. And this is going to be your hands down five. Spell algorithms correctly if you're using it. And yeah, we have three books ready. Uh, we have our mock, we have our book controller. And all we have to do now is set up our class. So uh, let's do that. Let's quickly set up our test class. So uh, we have this annotation called as before. Uh, this will run the method uh, which we are going to implement before every single test. So before every single test, what we need to do is we need to set up our class. And we want to set up Mockito first. So what we do is we do uh, Mockito annotations. So Mockito annotations dot init mocks. And we do this. So this basically uh, this piece of code basically uh, initializes uh, Mockito inside our class, a boilerplate code. And the next thing which we need to do is initialize our mock MVC. So we'll do it by mock MVC builder dot standalone setup. And we want the setup only for the book controller class and we do a build on it. Now this ensures that we are using Mockito and Mock MVC for our book controller class and it will not uh, spin up any Tomcat web server and it will mock our book repository when we are using it. So in this way, we uh, understand how Mockito works uh, and we have our test class ready for some tests. And now in the next uh, upcoming videos, let's start writing tests for our book controller class for each and every method that we have implemented. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.